Hi everybody, I am Lucy. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about how God um, ordained this counterfeit to come into your life for a greater purpose. Um, God has just led me to talk about this and I thank you guys so much for commenting, um, for leaving comments, you know, regarding the situations you're going through. And so a sister in Christ um, commented, I met someone so suddenly and unexpectedly. He approached me and now we're at a place where he says he's in love with me and wants me by by his side but i don't have peace in my heart that he is the man god sent my way i'm at a big transition season uh, i'm at a big transition season in my life and our relationship is taking me further away from god a backslid slid in, a, a backslid to a place of fornication a sin i never thought i'd be capable of after all that God has done for me. I asked God to please give me a word on this and saw your video yesterday. But how do I say no to this counterfeit spouse? I don't want to break this. I don't want to break his heart. He's so invested in me. I pray that God has mercy and makes this easier for both of us. So this message, honestly, um, really, Holy Spirit, help me. It really touched me because um, not only that she's going through this, like many of us are going through this, including uh, the you know men are also going through this. And um, God is allowing the enemy to um, to lead us into this route. OK, and before I really get deep into it, I just kind of want to set a foundation that will um, allow you to understand what God is saying. OK and thank you jesus thank you okay so let's talk about god's will guys okay now god has called his children to be in his will so remember when jesus walked in um and he was led by the spirit to the wilderness to fast and pray for 40 days he was led by the spirit but when he came back Thank you, Jesus. When he came back, he was in the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now he was led by the Spirit to be tempted. To be tempted. Okay. Yes. Um, by God's grace, or obviously he's God. He did not fail, right? But when he came back, he came back in the power of the Holy Spirit. And thank you, Jesus. So a lot of people miss this message. A lot of people miss miss this message, or um, uh, uh this concept of what faith is and what serving God is. God already knows that we are sinners and we will, you know, backslide, you know. I'm not saying that so proudly. It's it's just the way we are. It's our nature. God already knows that. Now, what he does is that through his will, through through our flaws, he uses our flaws to bring about his glory, okay? Because if it wasn't for that flaw, you wouldn't know who God is. I keep repeating this. You wouldn't know the love of God. You wouldn't know the reason Christ even died. Okay. Now, um, the Holy Spirit ministered to me just now. And he said that when Jesus was led, when he was led or when he led Jesus into the wilderness, um, it, it represented our, our, um, God, what's that word? Our I thank you, Jesus. Our isolation period. Okay. The Holy Spirit led us into the isolation period this is so good the, okay the holy spirit led us into the isolation period and then we came out of the isolation period and many of us are in our calling and we all already know that we all already know that god is actually upgrading us like massively like tremendously and he's bringing forth his will you know and he's calling us to do his will on earth now when we came back out of that isolation period we were in the power of the holy spirit now when we were led by the holy spirit when we were being called by god to go into the that isolation period we were we were led by the holy spirit now when we came out we came out in the power of the holy spirit because through the isolation period we started praying different we started understanding god different we started we started um realizing what christianity actually is and that actually the secret of um the heavenly kingdom is is far away beyond of what the church even teaches we started seeing truth okay now this was the isolation period where god was revealing himself to us where god was 
pruning us, where God was changing us, where God was preparing us for our calling. Now we've entered our calling. We're in the power of the Holy Spirit because remember when Jesus Christ came in the power of the Holy Spirit, he started his healing ministry. He started preaching the gospel. He started what he was called to do, you know, which was die for our sins. Okay. Remember he, he was in the power of the Holy Spirit and he started what he was already, he already was you know he what he already was okay he started what he already was himself i hope you understand that he started what he like he already was like i don't know any other way to explain this like he started who he already was now you started who you already are you naturally naturally um bring forth this this new person of you this new being of you and you some of you guys don't realize it but you are a totally different person okay and i'm gonna jump into what i'm about to say because this actually leads into what i'm about to say you are actually a different person okay um you are so changed you are so new um you just naturally are walking into your purpose you are naturally living in the presence of god like by his grace and by his mercy for calling you and choosing you you naturally freely by the grace of god there's nothing you do that that makes you know that makes god like approve you to to walk in his glory like literally nothing you just naturally walk in his glory because of his grace because of his love because of you know just choosing you like he chose you he loves you he's like okay i'm gonna choose i'm gonna choose her i'm gonna choose him you just naturally walk in in your calling everything you do you naturally just know okay god is leading me to do this because you're you just want to do his will you know you've always desired to do his will you're walking in his will that's why it's called walking in the power of the holy spirit because it is just to please the lord okay and it's not like something that you force you just naturally do it and so i'm i'm heading i'm heading there guys give me a second so now when when okay this is this is how you know that you've changed when this situation okay when this counterfeit came into your life when this this person came into your life um and this thing happened suddenly you ha it happened as though you were not sober minded it happened as though some of you guys were actually literally drunk some of you guys were actually like literally uh for some reasons high some of you guys were like just not sober like literally out of nowhere for no reason unplanned unexpectedly um you fall into the sin okay but when you fall into the sin you cry for some of you guys cried during that event during that situation during that during that um during that that you know that situation during literally at that time of that situation some of you physically cried okay some of you cried afterwards you know some of you were very grieved some of you you just it just it's it was it was bad okay it was bad that's how you know you changed because the old you wouldn't would not think that that's a big deal okay that's just the, the only way i can put it the old you would not think that that's a big that's a big deal now god is saying that let's get into the prophetic holy spirit help me so god is saying that you have changed and i allowed that situation i allow i allowed i allowed the enemy to to not just tempt you but to, to i allowed the enemy to lead you there you know to lead you there because what happens with this this connection that happened with the sin that happened there's a connection that happened there's a connection that happened that i want that counterfeit to to share with you okay because of the way um life is because of the way earth is because of the way nature naturally is i cannot change like i cannot god is saying i cannot change the way things are you know i cannot change the way things are so um like for instance, um, you know, he created the earth. Like he can't just take away something. Um, like for instance, he cannot take someone's, like you know, Satan. Like he didn't take Satan's, Satan's um, gifts away from him. You know, just that, just because of how loving he is. Like he cannot give you something and create you with something and take it back. Okay, so for that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to relate it with nature. Okay, the way nature is, the way when one gets together with another one, they create. They they it's not just a they have a covenant like they make a covenant and that covenant itself like let's just you know okay scratch off covenant they are uh 
they are connected okay they are connected they're turned into one now what this individual has that person has when that what that person has the other person has so they share they share what they have and they, they become one okay when that thing happens when that thing happened when that situation happened it caused both of you guys to share into something okay you shared into actually the full thing now when you share that um the other person actually got delivered because the word of god says where christ is there is no demons um actually christ delivers christ heals now when you ran back and actually apologized to god when you some of you guys even prayed at that moment and you apologized to god an exchange of of deliverance happened okay even during that 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 situation even during that event like during that that sin um that um it like just something shifted in the spirit and what the enemy intended to happen was that um you know uh someone's demons would be like cast into the other person's demon demons and you know but you have like you're literally in the power of the holy spirit uh i'm not trying to validate sin guys i'm not saying go sin more no because it was god ordained because god allowed it like it literally was god ordained for you to fall into that okay and guys hear me by the spirit like i'm not trying to um say oh go sin more go sin more no when something is god ordained when something is god ordained no matter how um sinful it is it is pure it is pure and he's reminding me of a scripture it was when peter was praying and scrolls fell from heaven he had a vision of scrolls falling from heaven and he and god told him to i don't know if it's peter but god told it's in the new testament god told him eat um eat eat this and it was like a bunch of like weird animals like unedible animals like i forgot what they're called some of them were like just unedible and um so peter was like god like i cannot eat this these are defiled animals and god was like what i make pure what when what i when i tell you to do something uh despite of how impure it is it means it's like despite how, how impure it is it literally and i accept you to eat it it means you can eat it like it's pure so i want you guys to catch this okay i wish i could just find the scripture um so that i can like really jot like bring this down for you guys could like break it down because this message is is not for the weak okay this message is not for the religious um for the religious minded like oh like please god please god please god like you know like we gotta always please god like it's it's you know it's a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing to please god but like um like oh like you know we cannot meet up to like you know i cannot meet up to the things of god like you know it's like we're trying to put ourselves we're trying to make ourselves um righteous in the front of god and like in the free in the in the presence of god but we're not righteous we're just gracefully righteous okay um what i call clean i call clean don't okay let me see so so um i don't know who said it but i think it's peter peter um it was acts 10 uh verses 15 uh, 13 to 15 new living translation i have never eaten it says i have never eaten anything that our jewish law laws have declared impure and unclean but the voice spoke again do not call something unclean if god has made it clean okay i want you guys to catch this by the spirit of god oh guys i'm so shocked like when i received this revelation because i was asking god like why did you allow this to happen why did you allow this because i literally like god tells me himself you are and you're walking in like you're literally in my presence you're you're literally anytime you pray like you're in my presence and that's for you guys to understand you've been speaking to god differently you just sit there you're talking to him you're receiving messages you're re you're receiving like you're receiving his word like it's crazy you're in his will so i was like okay since i'm in your will why would you allow this to take place especially un unexpectedly it means that you allowed it to happen why would you allow it to happen why would you allow this to take place okay now he like i said earlier he told me i want this counterfeit to be saved i want this counterfeit to come to me now this is how it, it happened it happens okay or it will come to pass okay I, it's kind of already starting to come to pass because you guys 
you and this counterfeit um you know start off talking and stuff like that until you fell into this great sin uh talking you know you're building communication you know you try to make it pure you try to keep it holy but then it, it becomes unholy okay that situation happens fornication sin happens okay now now that sin okay that got allowed to happen um was actually clean like i'm gonna say it the way it is that sin that god allowed to happen god is calling it clean like god made it clean for his glory god made it clean for his glory i'm not saying you go ahead and fornicate i'm not saying you go ahead and keep committing that sin keep committing that sin no when god leads you to something because you're walking in his power you will never ever ever desire to do anything like that ever again unless it's through his will and he allows it the way god is protecting us in this season in this time in this day and age is dangerous that is why when somebody makes you so mad and you go to god and you pray for them like it is it is it is up it is it is up for them like it is literally up for them it is up for them like literally when somebody disrespects you or when somebody does anything and you tell them that was so rude that's how you like they start apologizing like oh like you know like they're like they're rude to you but then they start apologizing why do you think that because god himself is convicting them for what they're doing to you i just want you to know that you're powerful you're loved you're cared for and this was god ordained okay this was god ordained um the enemy thought because of this sin because of this act that you would eventually kill yourself or you would eventually lose your mind and go back to your old ways but god glorified himself through that because he wanted to show you that he is god above your mistakes he is god above um death like he is god above that, that counterfeit now okay let me let me continue now this counterfeit actually will be saved this counterfeit will be saved because when that happened that unity happened god came in between and like god god entered him like he is in the power <laughs> oh my goodness he is in the power of the holy spirit god wanted that exchange to happen it's a supernatural exchange it's spiritual and when god enters somebody and god when when god's glory fills somebody no demons prevail literally literally that's why this guy has been or this woman or whoever it is this counterfeit husband you know what desiring god like I want to make things right i desire to get to know god i desire to get to know god that's why this counterfeit has been praying and sees things come to fruition that's why my mom's calling me i'm about to go guys but that's why sorry guys ma dad sorry guys but that's why guys i'm just in shock okay i know what i said is pretty dangerous to people who are so who cannot catch this or who are not experiencing this because um they will not see it come to fruition in their lives so they will not believe what i'm saying okay but for i'm speaking you know i i gotta say what i have to say like this is the work that god gave me okay however it is whatever god says I gotta say it okay and i will be judged you know i will be judged by god like you know my phone is on 10 percent, but i will be judged by god like i don't want to say something that he's not saying just to you know bite my tongue or oh, like this or oh, like that just because of people's minds not spiritually leveled up yet you know what i mean but god brings you guys to me because he has answers for you um you know so just know that god is god wants to save that counterfeit that's number one and 
um, you know, God desires this counterfeit. And God is, is going to bless you because you are working for him. Okay? You, you, I know you're working for him. Some of you guys don't really realize it, but you are working for him. Everybody you meet, whatever connection you have, whoever you meet, just know you're working for him. And another thing I want to say before I go is the fact that, like, you shouldn't get rid of this counterfeit. Allow God to remove him from you. Allow God to use him to say, hey, we can't do this. Because some of you guys have been like, God, like, or him or her. Okay, guys, whenever I say him, it's because I'm a, I'm a female. I'm a girl. I'm not going to say her, you know, like I'm not fruity. So, but whenever God is like, whenever God removes somebody away from you, it's because he doesn't want you to go there. And that's why your heart, anytime you meet this counterfeit in person, you just feel so drawn to talk to them. You're, you know, like, it's like your mood changes. It's like, you're not just that, you're not per that person a few, a few hours ago telling God, like, I don't want to talk to this person. Like, I like, want to bring this person in my life. Lie, 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 lie. You know, complaining and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to mess it up. Like, I don't want to mess it up. Like, I, I think I already did. Like, I mean, I already, you know, complaining and complaining. And you're not realizing, like, hey, um, he's still around for a reason. Okay? There is a reason for the season. Praise the Lord. Okay? Comment down. There is a reason for the season. And I thank you guys so much for, you know, commenting because... Uh, it, it was through this comment that I received this word because I've been asking God, like, is there any word you want to, you have for me that I could pour into others or any answers you have for me? Because anytime God gives me an answer, he pours into me because there's a part of me that's empty and lacking an answer. So I can pour into you guys to, you know, to provide that answer as well. You know what I mean? To fill that question mark. You know what I mean? So... Um, like I said, allow God to lead you. Keep praying, okay? Stay in that secret place because that secret place is where you eat, okay? Spiritual food. It's it's where you talk to God, like, okay? Like, stay there. Do not allow anything to discourage you from talking to God. Like, I know it's been difficult and I might come out with another video regarding that, but it's been difficult. But anytime you feel like you can't pray, just be like, God, I feel so low right now. Like, express how you feel, okay? Yeah, just express to God, like, God, um, I feel like not praying because of this, because of that. It'll help you because the Holy Spirit starts um, motivating you to, to ask God to, for help. But other than that, God, I love you so much. And God loves you more, obviously. Um, I will see you guys in my other videos that God will gracefully allow me to release. God bless you and have a good day.